Hi everyone, welcome to another episode. In this one we're going to be reacting to season 2 of Ted, starting with episode 1 called Goodbye Earl. Um, last season was pretty hilarious. Oh, it was brilliant. Yeah. I, I genuinely thought it was a brilliant show. I'm glad we started actually watching it and reacting to it. Um, I had not, well, we had not seen ed anything about Ted. Yeah. Uh, and then basically it's just an American who comes and coaches a, a football team in, in AFC Richmond. It was just brilliant. Some of the things you, some of the things you'd see, some things you didn't see. The you know, you kind of go through it with the players as well, like Sam, who's yeah. new. Surprisingly, you know, very cool. invested in a uh, team who I couldn't care less about. Um, but yeah. um, obviously, he was hired because the owner of the team, who had been sort of given ownership through a divorce, wanted to yeah. um, get her own back at her husband, who had been cheating on her and who dearly mm. loved the club. But eventually, she owns up, she fesses up, she grows. As a character, she grows with it, yeah. Yeah, and um, she realizes that I really want this club to do well, kind of thing. Um, yeah. We have ups and downs with different characters, from Roy and Keely and Jamie and um, uh, little Nate Higgins. Oh, yeah, little Nate who comes yeah. out of his shell um, yeah. and is part. He's a part of the coaching team now. I don't think we've left anyone out. Uh, I remember Paul from the bar. And I forgot the name of the landlady. Uh, but yeah, the ending episode was the one we were most invested in because it was like a lot of a lot of it was on the line. Like the team could be relegated. Um, yeah. And they had a match against Man City who Jamie went back to play for. And he yeah. does one of those things where he... And he doesn't do one of those things. He, he basically listened to Coach Lasso's um, advice of making the extra pass and yeah. Man City wins and AFC Richmond gets relegated which is a bit messed up but you did say at the time that it's like one of the it could be one of those comeback stories yeah you know? it makes more sense to do that I think for the TV show because it's if you especially with football if you have an underdog team that comes back it's more of an it's more of a story than you know them working up the table and kind of taking on bigger teams like which they're never going to do yeah, which yeah exactly they're never gonna do. um but yeah all in all it was a, a great season and great show we can't wait to get stuck into season two um so this one is goodbye earl i'm assuming we're going to lose someone the old earl. in the club who's being, yeah. who's retiring or something um so let's see what happens in this one season two episode one goodbye earl let's check it out and it's a penalty Giant opportunity for the Greyhounds to change their All right, we might win a game. We're going to win a game. We're actually going to win a game. Why did I say we? Richmond has started a season with seven straight ties. Can you even imagine starting a season with a seven lot of ties. consecutive draws? Why is there a seven guy there? Seven draws. But why is there a guy with a Greyhound on the, on the pitch? I don't know. And a hush come on, Danny. Oh, come on. Come on, yeah. Danny. No, 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 Danny Rojas. Mascot Earl Greyhound, howling his encouragement. Oh my God, it's the dog. Will Danny Is Rohan... he going to hit the dog? But it's Danny, he's a good footballer. I don't like this. If that dog goes off its leash... Oh no! Oh no. <laughs> oh my God. Don't tell me they're going to show it. Oh, oh. shh. Oh. Does the ball go in though? Oh my god. Has he killed the dog? It's so tragic. Awful turn of events. Well, he actually killed it. Because of it, you? It was obviously a horrible accident. Oh god, did we really make Michael Jordan cry? Oh no. How are you feeling about the team's efforts today? I feel like everyone played their hearts out, you know? Especially Sam. Just gets better and better every game. He's really helping us fill that giant Roy Kent void. Oh no, we forgot about Roy Kent. He's not going to be yeah. playing anymore. Trent's Krim. Yeah. Independent. I was wondering if you had any comments on Earl, the dog Danny Rocha has killed today. Oh shit, he actually killed a football dog. Yeah, killed it. Oh, that's messed up. I mean, is a football powerful enough to kill a dog? I mean, it probably would have knocked it into the pole, right? And just... 
It's messed up. Our neighbor, Mr. Grady, but his, his wife passed away. I stopped taking care of their dog. Same one that bit me. His name was Hank. And so I started looking after him. Eventually, Mr. Grady's son moved his dad into a nursing home, and he asked if I wanted to keep Hank, and I was like, yeah, heck yeah. And then a year or so after that, we had to put Hank to sleep. Oh, that's fucked up. Think about the things in your life that can make you cry, just knowing that they existed. He's gone a bit deep on this question, hasn't he? Yeah, maybe it's affected him a little bit more than he's let on. It helps get from one place to a better one. And I hope we helped Earl do just that. No, that's sweet. And how's Danny doing? I haven't spoken with him yet, but I just hope he's not being too Football hard. is life, man. He's not gonna, it's not gonna affect it. Oh my She's taking God. it. Oh God, he's actually taking his kill. Trying to wash his... Uh... Sins away. Yeah, literally, yeah. Hey, Danny. What you doing? Washing the death off of me. I'm washing the death off of him. Look at his face. Like, shit. What do we do? Football is life, right? Yeah. I know. It used to be. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, we broke. Danny's broken. Might lose. Danny broken. Way to play out there today. Hey, Y'all kick their butts from soup to nuts. Don't worry, we're gonna get a W soon. We'll see goldfish on Monday. Seven consecutive draws. Oh, eight. But I didn't make any mistakes. Only you played poorly. Oh, oh no. <laughs> hey guys, Jan Mas is not being rude. He's just being Dutch. Yeah, they're very brutally honest. Just a little unlucky, that's all. Unlucky. Yeah. Man, I love the way y'all use that word over here. Back home, if a team was playing poorly, we don't call them unlucky. What do we call them, Doug? New York Jets. Ooh, savage. <laughs> I leave a little early today, but part of your job is to stay until the whole team's gone. No, yes, of course. It's just, it's my mum's 50th birthday. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, and what, what position Go do you want to play on the team again? Oh, we <laughs> That's fucking savage. Nathan. Tell your mom happy <laughs> birthday from all of us. And hey, if she ever wants to try out for the team, she's more than welcome. Oh, lovely. <laughs> That's a bit... Much from Nate. Cool down, mate. You, you gotta stay on. Pressure makes pearls, right? Diamonds. Mm. Wait, that's wrong. It's diamonds. Yeah. <laughs> we just received a giant food delivery from our rivals over at Brentford FC. That's, that's nice. nice. What kind of food? Thai. Oh, oh that's clever. I'd still eat it. We are still undefeated. Okay, sure. That's one way of looking at it. You haven't lost in seven games, technically. Yeah. Yeah. And you're now looking at the very new, very generous, very guilt-riddled benefactor of Richmond's largest dog shelter. Oh, damn. She had to do that. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. The name's Buckingham Palace. That's brilliant. Oh, is that him? Come yes, on. yes, 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 yes. What's happening? What's happening? What are we getting all giddy about? Hey, him who? Okay. You've been just... Am I allowed to speak here? Has she met someone? Oh, Sorry, Ted. It's just Sounds like it. Talk about a gentleman suitor. I've gone out with a few times. <laughs> nice. Go on, you. Hey, did Roy come to the game today? Oh no, he didn't. Sorry, Ted. Oh no, that's okay. Oh, I'm sure he'll swing by at some point. Right? Well, I hope What's... we get to see Roy more in this. Well, it depends what he's doing now, isn't it? Yeah. He's been so busy with this new coaching gig. Oi! Okay. You're oh, okay. okay. Well, well done. Wow. Next week. He'd make a good coach. I did say he's a good leader. You will play like a bunch of little oh, he? oh my god, he's, <laughs> he's coaching. Oh, oh god. my god. He's coaching his niece's team? Eight years old. You can't call them little pricks. Sorry, Miss Barry. Even when they're being little pricks. <laughs> Rebecca wanted to see if we could do some double date action next week. Fucking hell. Bad word, Uncle Roy. You owe me one quick. Oh my god, he's got to pay? She's going to be a rich little girl. So once the season's over, you're gonna have more time to see some friends, right? I see friends all the time. I know. You got your yoga mums. Oh yeah, he still does that. Oh yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah. I suppose that's a weird but good disconnect. But he's completely disconnected now because he doesn't yeah. play. He needs some sort of. Your retirement press conference was beautiful, Roy. People loved it. I just want to go on record saying that I think you'd be an amazing pundit. A fucking football pundit. Would he? Yeah, yeah. He's swearing all the time on live shit television. For shit people, I'd rather shit out my own fucking mouth than do that fucking shit. You owe her like ten.
pounds. Pretty much. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Getting back onto it. Well done, Danny. Don't think of the dog. Oh, he's dreaming. He's dreaming. Oh, okay. Is he? Oh. Oh, Ooh. my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh he's no. living life, though. I was going to say. This um, chap I've been seeing, John. Stamos? <laughs> no, his name's John Wings Knight, but that's not the point. <laughs> he's not good at girl talk. Handsome, uh, successful, nice. not shy. Look at the way you see it. Yes. For a problem here or something? Well, actually, I suppose not. Okay. Well done, Ted. Girl talk and just be blabbing away about stuff and nothing has to really change and no one has to solve anything. Yeah, that's exactly right. I love it. Let's keep going. <laughs> How can he not? Oh, he's not taking penalties at all. Is he skying them? Oh, yeah. Ooh. What is dead? I mean, he missed. All of them? It's, it's too much in his head, isn't it? Oh, yeah. He's obviously traumatized from killing that dog. I found Poutine. <laughs> oh yeah, it's one of the set, it's one of the trick plays, isn't it? The one of the set, pieces, set yeah. pieces. Be the ball, Danny. Kick it. Oh my God, uh, coach is standing too close. I know. Ooh. Ooh. Any ideas? Danny needs motivation. We could always just show him his goddamn paycheck. Jesus, knife. I mean, that's a... hey, he's gone proper yeah. savage in this, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. Hey, you're not supposed to say that out loud. Which is why I wrote it down. The yeah, too much, too much in his head is basically the yips. We don't say the Y word out loud, you understand? It's like saying Macbeth in a theater or Voldemort at Hogwarts or uh, soccer in England. Bingo. <laughs> Very true. Out of nowhere, an athlete suddenly can't do the basic fundamentals yeah. of their sport. Yeah. Yeah. And it's nothing physical. It's all mental. Yeah. Maybe we should bring in a sports psychologist. Yes. I know a lot of other clubs have had tremendous success That'd be good. with that. Not a bad idea, coach. I think it's a staple for clubs now. I think it's going to go horribly wrong because they're probably right. going to start diagnosing all of these guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is obviously it's, it's it's savage mode. Well, the next thing you know, this tiny American woman says, "Is that it?" <laughs> sure enough, there it was, wedged between the couch cushions. Martin Short's wallet. <laughs> what? Yeah, Roy's just like he's not feeling it at all. It's football mad. Oh, terrific! Who do you support? Well, I bounce back and forward between United and City, whichever club's winning, typically. Oh, oh no. Him and his owner, Nigel, used to come in here all the time until he started shitting and pissing all over the place. Yeah, well, that's pretty common with all your dogs. No, I'm talking about Nigel. <laughs> the whole idea of bringing in someone from the outside to help us get him there. I don't know, it just kind of puts a little knot in my belly. I'm not sure why. Is it because he's normally the one to... To get people out of their rut and help them. He brings the wisdom. Yeah, and yeah, it's like, oh, someone else has to, to do it. Part of me that just doesn't, uh, I don't know, uh, trust therapists. Oh, okay. Well, he must have gone through it with his, yeah, it's with, with his divorce, basically. Mm, true. I just kind of felt like I was being set up, you know. Like I was going in there not to be listened to, but rather just to hear about all the things I've been doing wrong. It's not shy. I love that about him. <laughs> totally. Oh god, okay, they're not yeah. feeling it at all. Here we go. It's not about him, it's about why the fuck you think he deserves you. You just have someone who makes you feel like you've been struck by fucking lightning. Oh damn. Dare settle for fine. Pretty epic I'm advice. Agony aunt Roy Kent. He's uh you can always, you always know where you stand with him because he's always going to be bold and forthright about everything. Mm. He's, got, he's got a point. Oh my god, they've been hitting it for 440. Oh, Higgins! This is Nathan, Coach Beard, and Ted Lasso. Oh, you don't need to stand. But it makes it a lot easier to do this. It's, 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 it's not for me <laughs> to. <laughs> I don't think she appreciates that. So I understand that Danny has developed a case of the yips. 
Well, Doc. <laughs> Doctor. Oh, right. she didn't like that. Um, Doc, um, it's a superstition. They are a mental condition, one that can be fixed with discipline, not denial. Are you good at your job, yes or no? Um, yes. Well, as good as you are at your job, I'm twice as good at mine. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> We're very lucky to have you. Thank you. That's good to know. Thank you for coming here. <laughs> Can you bid? What's your record? Oh, uh, 1,236. Impressive. Oh, we're going to clash a bit here. Yeah, we're definitely going to clash, gonna clash a bit. She seems fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. You do that. <laughs> nice to meet you, Danny. How are you feeling? Like a murderer. Oh. Please. God. It's a bit, it's a bit. Oh, wow, she can speak Spanish. That's impressive. This is going to be perfect. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't look like the most comfortable place. Yeah. Right? It's the stomp, but tough to get. Anyway, this tall redhead pushes in front of me, so I tap him on the shoulder. He turns around. I go, is there a problem? I go, yeah, there's a problem. I like how the show's doing this. It, it's It's... We're halfway through his anecdote, showing us halfway through his anecdote, which means it's a boring story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, it seems to be the same story where he gets into confrontations with a lot of people. I need to be brave enough to let someone wonderful love me without fear of being hurt. <laughs> He's so like, are you breaking up with me? Yeah. Pretty much. I'm so sorry. Hey! Oh my god, she fixed him! Hello, my beautiful coaches. May I join the drill? Sure thing, Danny, yeah. Football's alive. Football is live. Oh, Ted Lasso, you have met your match. She's not way back. Oh, I'll be sorry. She saw you. <laughs> she definitely fucking saw you, bro. <laughs> what a cow. That's bloody brilliant. So whatever she said to him, Ted couldn't Ted couldn't say it to her. Ted's, him. Ted's gonna have to visit her at one point because of himself. Yeah. But for Sharon Hemi, remember that even though football is life, football is also death. Uh, football is football too. <laughs> okay. There's three most silly, three most silly sentences, and yet it makes sense. Go on, oh, everyone, wants to, said, everyone wants to go see her. A few of the boys asked to sit down with Dr. Fieldston before she left. Oh, she's leaving. Okay, he won't have to see her. Well, he probably will have to. He'll probably try and figure out why. Let's fucking do this. <laughs> Me off, yeah. I'm the one who makes your lipstick. Oh, it's like Love Island. Like a Love Island, yeah. Footballing tart, Jamie. Oh. Oh, Jamie's on there. God, I love him. Oh no. Oh no. That's yoga Same ruined way. for Roy. You might want to give him the bottle. And that's the uh. end of the episode. Um. Thoughts. I mean, it's a shame about the dog. Yeah, it's a, uh, such a bad start. I can't believe we lost the dog. I didn't think it was about that. I, I didn't, you know, when they were like, I couldn't figure out why there was a dog on the pitch in the first place. And then it made sense, obviously, when they killed him. But I didn't think the episode was about that. I thought it was that they might lose someone, like, the oldest fan or something, something like that. Yeah. Um, but no, it was really, it was a really good episode actually because it's kind of like Ted. Uh, He's normally the wisdom giver, or he's normally the one that fixes or unties people's issues. And now he, he's obviously got the, the psychiatrist to come in. I know he did say that, you know, he didn't have an amazing time with the, like, uh, like a therapist when he went for couples, couples therapy. Couples therapy, yeah. But, it but seems, he's normally the... But you know what? He, he's, like, the, all the issues that he had in the first season, it feels like he's going to have to sit with that. Unless 
she's left this was the last episode this was only the only episode we, we would have seen her because the Higgins Maybe. did say oh the boys wanted to see her before she left kind before of she, yeah yeah, um, yeah. Which but I think also it's kind of like not that he feels threatened by it but like I said he's normally the one that can fix the problems and yeah. now they've had to call him someone yeah so um yeah I couldn't figure that, that out that you know that look in his eyes when he's looking back is he looking back in that worried look because someone else is doing what he sh he should be doing he th he it thinks he out. should be doing that or yeah. is he worried like he oh my god this is like I, <laughs> I, i'm scared i'm don't trust therapists so i don't know what's gonna happen yeah yeah, yeah. i think yeah i mean i don't think he's like oh i'm losing my mojo or anything like that yeah i think that's pretty much um but the the bit at the end was quite funny because uh with jamie <laughs> being good love oh, luck love island Looking or whatever road, it is yeah. but, basically ruined Roy's life then well that, um, basically he's gonna have to get off his ass and actually do something with it like uh, apart from yoga which is now ruined he's gonna have to take the pundit job or a, a better coaching job or something I, I probably still stay with yoga until maybe the, it finishes or whatever unless they carry on talking about it yeah um, yeah that's a bit different but yeah 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 and then lastly um, Rebecca back on the back on the horse like i said but like you said that was quite interesting that they showed all of his stories halfway through and they were all like i said they were all pretty much the same as him getting into some sort of confrontation with someone yeah. or, or whatever so so it's interesting to see that she is back on the, the dating scene which she should be yeah um but also the fact that she shouldn't settle and hopefully she finds someone um <clears throat> who uh I forgot what Roy said now. Makes you feel like you've been struck by lightning. I think that's, that's yeah. what his words were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah. let's see Don't what happens. Yeah, exactly. So let's see what happens in, in that storyline. But all in all, great episode. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments. What did you think of the episode and our reaction to it? But other than that, please like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya.